What's up? It's Jan, back at it again with another nerdy bookish video. Today we're filming my February TBR. And like vlog slash video ideas for next month that I have too, which is the reason that I am filming a TBR for the first time. I don't normally stick to TBRs unless it's for a readathon or something, but since I have a lot of themed reading vlogs planned, sorry, there's like there are like a bunch of birds just flocking at my tree right now and it's distracting me. I have a lot of themed reading vlog plans, so I picked out books to fit those themes and I decided why not make a TBR and see if I stick to it. Mm, probably won't. I'll probably add some random books too. Just thought I'd make this video and see if I like making TBRs. So since it's Black History Month, I'm going to make a reading authors of color reading vlog towards the end of the month, I think is when I have it scheduled. So I'm going to read Becoming by Michelle Obama, finally. No excuses, I'm reading this book next month. And I just got the audiobook from Libby, so I'm gonna follow along. Since I do own it physically, I don't just wanna listen to the audiobook and I wanna annotate it, but I also wanna hear Michelle narrate it. I'm also gonna read Beloved by Toni Morrison. This is a classic. This is on my scratch off novelog poster. This is on the Rory Gilmore reading list that I'm trying to get through eventually in life. This is gonna be my classic for the month. If you didn't know, I'm trying to read one classic a month and one book that's over 300 not 300 over 500 pages a month i'm not sure what this is about i know it touches upon like slavery racism things like that i think there's gonna be a lot of trigger warnings i bought the second hand and there's some notes but they're in pencil so i could just erase them excited for that i love tony morrison And then I'm also going to be doing a reading, like my rainbow thing, inspired by Chelsea Dollar Reads. And I'm going to read books with red covers. So my first red book is going to be Vicious by V.E. Schwab. Yes, Katie, I'm finally going to read it. This is one of her favorite books, so we're going to see what it's all about. I love V.E. Schwab. Addie LaRue, but I know Addie LaRue is nothing like any of her other stuff, but I just love her writing, so I don't even care what it's about. I just know I want to read everything she writes. So yeah, I'm excited for this. I love this cover. It's just such a nice shade of red. Hopefully I'd want to continue to vengeful. I said this at the end of last year that I want to read every V.E. Schwab book this year. So, And then for the other red books for that vlog, I want to read Concrete Rose, either for the red books or for the Authors of Color books vlog. Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas, which is the prequel to The Hate You Give. It just came out on January 5th, I believe. The 12th? I think the 5th. I have yet to purchase it, so I will once I get to my 20th book, my 30th book of the year, because I'm buying one book for every 10 that I read. Oh, and then I also want to read A Vow So Bold and Deadly, which I have yet to purchase as well. It's the third book to the Curse Breaker series. The first book is A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I'm going to read A Heart So Fierce and Broken I'm at the end of January for my Beauty and the Beast vlog. Hopefully I get to it, but if not, then for February for sure. And that one comes out on the 26th. And then if I don't get to this one this month, it's a library book, but Where Dreams Descend by Janela Angeles, who is actually a Filipino author. And I don't remember the last time I read a book by a Filipino author. I'm excited. And this is one of Olivia from Olivia Riza Latte's favorite books. I'm Filipino, if you didn't know. So love that for me. And then for my book that's over 500 pages for the month, I want to read Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Yes, this is the year that I am going to read all the hype fantasy books, all the backlisted series that I haven't gotten to, that everyone on YouTube knows about, loves. So yeah, Strange the Dreamer is one of them. Lainey Taylor's writing is supposed to be super lyrical and poetic. I'm assuming it's going to be similar to V.E. Schwab's writing, kind of. So I'm excited for this. I know nothing about this except the fact that it involves dreams. So there's that. Sorry I'm not like going into detail about the summaries of these books because they're pretty popular. Uh. Excuse me. The next book is for my buzzword readathon vlog. I think I'm just gonna do a weekend vlog for that one. And I'm finally gonna read Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. So this is a romance that is well loved in the booktube community. Oh, I didn't even realize the back has the two main characters. That is so cute. This is the book of the month edition. It's, I think, the Prince of England and the Son of the President. Oh no. Yeah. The Son of the President and the Prince of Wales. It's a romance about them. I heard it's really good. So 
for my most anticipated vlog for myself. Um, I have been planning to do a vlog for the books that made Gabby from Gabby Reads cry because I love her vlogs and I told her I'd be doing this. I told her I'd be doing this like in December, but I never got to it, so in February it is. And I found three books from Half Price Books that were from her videos and she said they made her cry, so I'm excited to cry. But the first one is The Light We Lost. I got all three of these from Atlanta when Xavier and I went for Christmas. The Light We Lost by Jill Santopolo. I know this is like a hard-hitting contemporary about like I think it's second chance love or something. I don't know, but it's supposed to be like super moving and it's a romance that has like some hard hitting topics. It says two lives, two loves, one choice. That sounds complicated, so I'm here for it. And then I have If Only I Could Tell You by Hannah Beckerman. Gabby said this is for fans of This Is Us, the show, which I love. So that's all I needed to know about it. But on the back it says a secret between two sisters, a lifetime of lies unraveling. Can one broken family find their way back to one? to one other. I think there's a typo there. That's embarrassing. So yeah, there's probably a whole lot of family drama and family secrets. I don't know, something's gonna make me cry, hopefully. And then Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter is this really messed up thriller about a mom and a daughter, I think and that's all I know and Katie loves this, Gabby loved this, she cried for some reason because I think something happens to the sister or something happens to the mom but maybe I'm thinking of a different book, I don't know. I love thrillers so we'll see what this is about and then the last two books I have physically are from my friend Christina. She's a subscriber and she followed me on Instagram and we started talking about books and then she sent me my first book mail ever. She sent me eight arcs because she works at a library so she gets them for free and she sent some to me and I told her I'd make a vlog reading some of her arcs so I have Pretty Things by Janelle Brown. I love this cover so much. I don't know what it is about this cover but this is a thriller too and it has like rich people drama I'm pretty sure so we love that and then this one is The Scape Gracers by Hannah Abigail Clark. I just know it involves lesbian witches and I love a good witchy book so excited to get to this one and then the last book I'm looking at my computer over there but the last book on my February TBR is When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole this is for Books and Lala's literally dead book club this is her pick for February this is one of Olivia's favorite books again it's a thriller it's pitched as a thriller but I heard it's more of a romance kind of but also it discusses gentrification really well and racism so I'm excited to see what's up with that and that's my TBR I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Looking at the stack of books, I'm kind of stressed. Okay, but I think if I just take a deep breath and take them one by one, I'll be okay. So yeah, hopefully I get to all of these. Since I break them down in chunks like vlog wise, I think it'll be okay. But February is a shorter month, but I do have these videos planned out. So hopefully Stranger Dreamer I'm really excited for but it is really long and I don't know when I'm gonna squeeze it in because I wasn't planning it to be in a video or anything so I don't know should I do a reading vlog for Stranger Dreamer let me know maybe I'll try to binge it in like a weekend or something thank you so much for watching let me know what's on your February TBR DM me on Instagram if you want to comment down below whatever you want y'all are having a great day stay safe and stay positive always and I'll see y'all in my next one bye